Hi guys, so today we're going to be making Kaleida. We can always see shit, I say. Big hug. So, the things you will need. This is a bit of an unusual way how to make clay. Um, so, all you'll need is a bowl. Well, you'll need some food colouring for the colour. Some flour. And then the last bit is yoghurt. See, I'm using this yoghurt. Spilt pot, toffee, cup, hoop, yoghurt. I'm just not, I'm just going to use the yoghurts inside. I'm not going to use the sauce balls. So, let's get started. So, first what you're going to do is open the yoghurt. Put that to one side quickly. And then, yeah. You got some honey. What you want to do is put some flour and food colour in the bowl already. So what you're going to do is get a spoon. And then if you have all like little bits around the room, you're just going to put the lid back on and shake it. And everything. And then as you can see it comes down. So first what you're going to do is get about four or three spoonfuls, big spoonfuls of yoghurt into your pot or your cup. I would say about three. First, give your yoghurt a little mix so then it's not all stuck together, it's all separated. Then, one. Two, oh, sorry. and three. So the third one has to be a bit small. So then you're gonna just fold that up, put that to the side in case you need to add any more. So now you've got your flour. What you gonna do? I just want to rice on my noodles. Then what you're going to do is just going to wipe your spoon. So then you get some of your flour in your thing. So I've got... One, if you do big, big ones like I've done, you only need two. Big, big ones like this. And then it should be looking like this, the yoghurt at the bottom and the flour at the top. Then what you're going to do is you're going to mix. And then if it's, you can just see the flour. But as you will see, it all will start coming together. But, you might want to add some more yoghurt, because as mine, I can just see the flour. Can't see no yoghurt. Oh, crap. There you go, so then you add some of more of the yoghurt, then you'll get your spoon and start mixing again. And then you will, I haven't got none of this, but you will need, if you would, you would like to add some contact solution so then it don't stick to your hands. Because that's what it will start doing. It will start sticking to your hands. So, um, I found a way, this is a DIY trick basically. I found a way though, if you've basically haven't got no um, uh, contact solution, put flour over your hands and then if you're going to put it on the floor and st like on a table or something, put flour on it, put flour on your hands and fill the clay with flour and then it will come together. But with this, if this is the true fact, I'm not going to 
tell you that you can't use it, but if you do, it will come and stick to your hands because I've got it, I've used it, and then I it does stick to your hands. So best if you put buy a contact solution, then put this in, or do put flour over your hands and then start doing it. But as you can see now, as you start doing it, it does all come together and clay. And you can just use any yogurt. This works with any yogurt, but I've used the ones that you get in the pot all together. I use them ones and just plain flour. I haven't used self-raising flour. I don't know if it will work with that or any other. I don't think it ain't going to work with baking powder. I think you will make slime with baking powder. I don't know. But don't take my word for it. And uh, now it's all coming together. This is stretchy, stretchy. But what I did with mine, because I don't, mine didn't work first time. I, well, mine did work first time. I don't I left it for a couple of nights, I left it for two nights, and then it did become stretchy. But this one that I have is coming all hard. So you need to make sure you do start playing with it, and don't leave it like... So the best thing you can do is just keep adding flour, and then, yeah. over my hands and it adds some more flour to this jar because with the yogurt it gets all messy and gets all over your hands and everything so it it needs to become all dry not all wet or anything the more dry it comes the better it will but the yogurt is what makes it all stick together and come together. So if you can see it's all coming apart, then that's better. So then you have separate bits you can play with. So thank you for watching this video. Please don't watch some of it and then go. Please give some subscribes and everything. This will work. Trust me. It's not something that won't. There you go. As you can see, it's all like whoosh. And everything so it did work and I'm actually really grateful and really happy that this worked and really happy to share it with you guys please give me some subscribes and everything thank you bye